So today I'm going to show a new reading environment for the Iliad that I think is an improvement upon Perseus for beginner and intermediate Greek students. You can click on any word in the text and see the root word that it came from as well as inflectional attributes of the word in context as well as the dictionary definition of the word. By clicking on the line number of a given line you can see any Benner, Benner commentary for that line. Now you may have noticed earlier these blue and red colors when you click on a word. These colors indicate the syntactic relationship between terms in a sentence. To be precise, blue indicates descendants in a sentence diagram from a given word and red indicates ancestors and the vividness of the shade of blue or red indicates the distance in, uh, the, distance in the tree from the word. Now that sounds very complicated, but it's actually quite simple. When we click on a theca, most vivid, most close to that word syntactically related will be, for example, its direct object, and slightly further off will be adjectives modifying that direct object. Now we can see that all of these words have to do with main and aida the singing of the rage of Achilles, and if we click on Aida, we can see that the first half of the sentence all has to do with that rage. What it did to the Achaeans, that it sent mighty souls to Hades, and that it made their bodies carry on for dogs and vultures. The sentence has a two-part structure joined by the conjunction de. The second half relates to the fulfillment of the will of Zeus, that it separated in quarrel Achilles from Atreus, lord of men. The last thing I'm going to show today is that when you click on a given word, highlighted in gray are other occurrences of that term in the text. So for example, if we click on Apollo, we can see easily that Apollo is discussed quite frequently in the beginning of book one of the Iliad. He disappears for a while, and then reappears, for example, on line 315, where he's the indirect object of the verb erdon, where a hecatome is made in his favor. So I hope these features make uh, reading the Iliad for beginner and intermediate students both easier and more enjoyable. Thanks.